name is Nashida Binti Amuma. I'm a teacher, come supervisor for this project, Go Line Technology. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Faya Ashraf. My name is Muhammad Din Shaikan. Hello, my name is Daniel Hafi. My name is Tanda Zulkarnain. So today, we are representing Sekolah Sultan Alam Shah for the Malaysia International Young Inventor Olympiad or commonly known as MANU. In this video, we will share to you more about our innovation which is called the Gold Line Technology. The idea for this innovation was inspired by a World Cup game that was held in South Africa in 2010. The match is between Germany and England. Frank Lampard from the England squad struck the ball and it hit the crossbar, eventually it came back up. But the referee didn't saw the ball cross the line and decided that it was not a goal. If you don't believe me, you can watch this clip. Here we go! Oh, oh. It's, in. it's so far in! Was it FIFA don't want? Technology! This incident causes a lot of heat between the English fans and the officials which led us to the idea of making a goal line technology. As football is evolving with new kinds of technologies such as video assistant referee, amateur leagues will be left out since they can't afford to buy this kind of technologies. We aim to fix that kind of situation. The goal line technology will provide a clear indication as whether the ball has fully crossed the line and this information will serve to assist the referee in making his final decision. Objectives We have four main objectives for the goal line technology. First of all, we want to provide fair plays and results using the aid of technologies. Secondly, we want to bring amateur football leagues to the next level. Thirdly, we want to make an affordable product for the market potential. Finally, and the most important one, we want to support the officials in their decision making. Problem statement. We focuses on two main problems that can affect to the beautiful game of football. First of all, the referee makes a false decision on the goal. And the second one, time taken to make a decision is too long and it will be a waste of time. Project Explanation The first step is we study the principle in goal line or scoring a goal with a fair decision. We search at certain websites and videos show that there has been a lot of fight in football games due to a lot of false decisions from the referee that has been made. We are trying to solve this problem with the technologies these days to be added in the goal post because it's much easier than familiar. I will show you what it looks like as an illustration of the goal line technology. There are three balls and the first one is just a normal ball. The second and the third ball have RFID sensors built into it. When we kick the first ball inside the goal post, the buzzer won't make a sound. But when the second ball is kicked, it will make a loud sound. When the third ball is kicked outside the goal post, it will not make a loud sound. This indicates that the RFID sensors only work when the ball crosses the goal line. This action will help and guide the referees to make a correct and accurate decisions. Just now, I showed you a clip that a referee making a false decision on a goal for England. But now, I'm gonna show you what will happen if you use the goal line technology. This is the one. So close. 
Wow. The ball didn't fully cross the line and the referee made the right call for not giving the goal. So let's talk about our market potential. Our market potential focuses on amateur leagues and school tournaments. This will make a high demand towards our product because it's not too expensive and they could afford it. This can make the amateur leagues almost at the same level as the professional league. 